Reading for March 21st, Science of Mind, A Philosophy of Faith, A Way of Life by Ernest Holmes. Reading from page 371, paragraph 1, through page 372, paragraph 2, using inclusive language. Immortality. The Meaning of Immortality. To most of us, immortality means that we shall persist after the experience of physical death, retaining a full recognition of ourselves and having the ability to recognize others. If our full capacities go with us beyond the grave, we must be able to think consciously, to will, to know, and to be known, to communicate and to receive communications. We must be able to see and be seen, to understand and to be understood. In fact, if we are really to continue as a self-conscious personality beyond this life, we can do so only if we maintain a continuous stream of the same consciousness and self-knowingness that we now possess. Personal identity, of course, postulates memory, which binds into one sequence the old life and the new. This means that we carry with us, after the experience of physical death, a complete remembrance, for it is to this alone that we must look for the link which binds one event to another, making life a continuous stream of self-conscious expression. To suppose that we can forget and still maintain a self-conscious identity is to suppose that we can cut off our entire past without destroying the logical sequence of personality. Remembrance alone guarantees personality. Where is this faculty? Cut us into the smallest bits, analyze and dissect every atom of our physical being, and we will never find memory. There is something about the personality which not only performs its function, but also remembers what it has done and which anticipates future events. What is it? It is the thing we are talking about, the non-physical faculty of perception, the thing that knows, the knower. Individuality might remain without remembrance, but not so with personality, for what we are is the result of what we have been, the result of what has gone before. We are not content with the thought that immortality is merely the result of our life and work which we have left behind. For instance, that we immortalize ourselves in our offspring. Some still ask, what of the person? People, then, if we are to have an immortality worthy of the name, must continue as we now are beyond the grave. Death cannot rob us anything if we be immortal.